Thanks so much for staying with Sunrise Live on E. Now, the Gauteng Department for Human Settlements has maintained that poverty alleviation and sustainable livelihoods are overriding imperatives. Now, these objectives can be accomplished through the creation of decent work and accelerating housing development. The Department for Human Settlements has thus established the Gauteng Partnership Fund uh, to ensure that they address the issue around affordable housing, especially for low-income earners. Now, we're joined by Kutwane Kutwane, the CEO of Gauteng partnership fund thanks so much for your time this morning uh, just you. as a matter of interest why the double name Kudwane Kudwane is there history behind it well there is history behind it it is a, a clan name mm. uh, it signifies some status in the clan uh, community uh, obviously you know in the past you used to have to share that land name and that becomes your name. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, I was just curious. <laughs> but getting into the, the Gauteng Partnership Fund and how it's structured, how did it come about? Well, uh, around uh, the early 2000, uh, uh, to be exact, 2002, the Gauteng Department of Housing then decided that because the banks were sort of seen as reluctant to enter the low-income housing market, uh, because per perhaps the risks were perceived to be too high and the margins too low. Maybe the government should actually intervene by way of some mechanisms of uh, putting up public risk fund that will then invest or co-invest with the banks and uh, attract the banks into this market. Hence why Gauteng Partnership Fund was established. But this doesn't cater to ownership per se in the mortgage um, yeah. owners. Th this is based on rental. Yes, it was a basically a focus area. Uh, remember that uh, when the government looked at uh, where the loopholes were, uh, it was not only the issue of ownership, it was also the issue of rental. Some of our people do not come to the cities uh, 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 to own land or to own dwellings. They come to do work and then probably go back to their respective uh, areas uh, uh, of uh, where they come from. So the rental market was actually in crisis as well, especially the, the low end, which is a social housing uh, market. Uh, social housing here, we mean those people that uh, in order for them to be, for those, for those units to be affordable, government must put in substantial subsidies and or even grants. So, you know, if you don't have that, then the projects will never fly. They will never be bankable in yeah. any event. And, and you have to recoup the money because um, I guess we, we're in a bottleneck situation where mm. uh, the ability to deliver on the demand is constrained because of the lack of resources or that the need is so, is so great. Uh, you can't just give away houses. Uh, you have to cater for another market as well. That's true. Uh, the government has got a program of, uh, you know, uh, subsidies. Uh, they are giveaway houses, your so-called RDP houses, which are giveaway houses for people who are completely uh, indigent. Mm. And also you have that gap uh, market. People that you don't know, they do not qualify because of their income uh, for subsidies, full subsidies. And at the same time, the banks would not even look at those people because they have no track record. And, uh, you know, the banks have never been able to price the risks in that market appropriately. So therefore, what mechanisms can you uh, use in order to cater for those people. Okay, but your target is what 20,000 of these units. We've seen uh, around the country. I think the, uh, the the objective there is to reach at least 91,000 of these mm. highly uh, upmarket, if you will, uh, housing settlements. <laughs> I wouldn't say upmarket, Cindy. Well, we've seen <laughs> one in Newcastle, and I thought I could live in there. So. Uh, uh, yes, you are right. Um, uh, at the moment in Gauteng, we have a target for rental stock. Uh, to increase the rental stock by at least 20,000 units, which is quite a tall order by 2014. Uh, obviously, there's a lot that has to be done in order to achieve that. Uh, you still have a lot of people in our inner cities, in Tswane, Gurlene, Johannesburg, uh, you know, uh, Krugerstorp, that do not have dwelling units at the moment. And some people are actually squatting, forced to squat, even uh, if their incomes would allow them to have some rental uh, housing. So at which level of development is this project? Uh, at the moment, we, we, we have been in existence, as I say, in existence, as I say, since 2002, but the actual operation started in 2004, uh, after putting all the things together. To date, we have invested up to 350 or even 400 million in that sector, in the rental housing sector. And in, those, in so doing, and uh, working in partnership with the banks, all the major banks, we have managed to raise up to 2.2 billion 
of private sector funding to co-invest with us. And uh, we have managed to create about 17,000 units since 2004. We take your calls at home on 011 537 or you can SMS us on 33970. Speaking to the CEO of the Gauteng Partnership Fund, Mr. Kutwane Kutwane, about the project to enable low-income earners to have decent housing. And it is about that. It's decent. Yes. Uh, the, the workmanship, the quality of these units as well needs to be of the highest standard. We obviously check that. We make sure that that is the case. Mm. Let's uh, take a call. I'm Alusi and Tembisa. Thanks so much for calling. What's your view? Hello. Hi. Hi. Yes, what's your question? Yeah, yes, uh, I'm interested on in this lower housing. Uh, I need the information on that. Okay, what would you like to know? No, like, uh, how do you get these uh, houses which, which are low? All right, thanks so much, Melissa. I think he's an entrepreneur mm. wanting to acquire a couple of units, but you're not selling them off. What's the, mm. the criteria of uh, occupying one of yeah, these? I, I, I should have mentioned that uh, Houghton Partnership Fund, or GPF, works only with uh, entrepreneurs or institutions or companies that are building these houses for low-income earners. We do not deal with the end user or the end beneficiary, but we make sure that the houses that are provided cater for that income group uh, between 2,500 and uh, 12,000 yeah. uh, household income per, per month. But uh, if you are interested in investing and being a provider in that market, please come and talk to us because we do have special schemes even for emerging uh, entry level entrepreneurs that want to get into this market. All right, Lucky, thanks so much for calling and what's your view? Hi, Lucky. Hello, how are you? I'm um, very well, thank you. I'm all right. So I just wanted to inquire about this service, like whether is it going to be extended to other provinces like the Free State or what? All right, Lucky. Uh, is it, it is a national project, but yeah. I mean at the moment we're talking specifically about Gauteng. Yes, uh, we have had a, a lot of uh, learning experiences uh, doing this. And uh, we have been talking uh, with the National Housing Finance Corporation, NHFC, uh, to see whether in actual fact we can actually share with them our experiences and uh, what we have learned in dealing with this market and whether this could be an initiative that can be extended either as part of na National uh, Housing Finance Corporation or as a standalone focused environment. But uh, that really, uh, I think my MEC, Honorable uh, uh, Humphrey Memezi, will have to talk to the minister and, uh, and see whether in actual fact uh, he is ready to share. Uh, in the experiences of GPF. Okay, we have our last caller, Leighton in Pretoria. Thanks for your patience and what's your question? Um, morning, morning ma'am. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, I'm okay. I just want to say hi to uh, the CEO. I want to find out something. This uh, lo low income house, uh, which start do you start from? Which people do you start and where do you, which uh, salary range do you, do you end? Because most of us, we really need houses, but we can't afford to buy those houses. And I'm, I'm, I want to find out also from uh, the CEO if do, do we have some people that work in the government that also fall within that, uh, that class. I'll just listen on the TV. Thanks so much, Leighton. Thank you. Again, it's just the criteria yeah. and uh, who qualifies. The, the, the criteria is that, uh, you know, for, like I said, we work with the developers, we work with, uh, you know, entrepreneurs that provide housing, that provide, that actually build these houses. But uh, before we can actually fund them to build these houses, we make sure that they, their houses, in terms of the rentals that they are going to be charging, will cater for people that are earning between 2,500 per month, or households that are earning between 2,500 per month to those that are earning about 12,000 uh, per month. It doesn't matter whether they are employed by government, self-employed, or whatever, as long as they fall within that category. All right, Ray Kutwane, we're going to keep it there. Thanks so much for your time. We're speaking to Mr. Kutwane Kutwane, the CEO of Gauteng Partnership Fund, talking about their work and uh, in partnership with the Department of Human Settlements to bring about quality housing for low-income earners. We'll get you contact details uh, if you're interested in investing in these projects. For now, though, take a quick ad break. We're back with the latest news. No way.